they have such a thing as opposition, right? Uh, were they have uh, you know they have their their um, offices uh, were attacked and they were aware of this and they would were periodically released. It was like this bizarre um, political world onto itself, and of course all of Russia became just like that a few years later. But Vladimir Putin has served as the deputy governor of Saint Petersburg in uh, from 1990 to 1996, and I knew uh, that he had been an integral part, and perhaps even more than that, perhaps the engine of creating that political uh, culture. But knowing that, uh, which most Russian <coughs> journalists didn't know, uh, except for the ones who worked in Saint Petersburg. Um, and knowing uh, that he was from the KGB, uh, and um, and I think having uh, and, and this is something that that has made me well as a journalist, not just a, as a person sometimes, but um, but I have a way of sort of taking people in the road as I always. And uh, things that he was saying were pretty scary. And um, but it was this amazing moment when everyone was trying to project the hurt. And some people liked him because he wasn't a drunk in that direction. And some people liked him because he wore European tattoos. And he spoke foreign languages. And it seemed like there were a lot of people who valued sort of, you know, those things, right? Being a part of the larger world, being open to the world, not feeling embarrassed or ashamed all the time because you had this bumbling drunk in a baggy suit saying and doing unpredictable things all the time. Um, that, made, that made a lot of people sort of turn their heads from that. Yeah, you know the feeling, right? It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, not really. Except that Yeltsin was actually an extraordinary man in many ways, an extraordinary man and an extraordinary politician. And you could be sort of mesmerized by him uh, when, he was, when he was there and he was speaking. Uh, it was actually impressive in the presence of a great man, okay. right? So in that sense, there were some mediating factors that we don't have now. Uh, but um, <laughs> but actually, but what I'm more interested in in terms of the present moment is is that um, you know that that pinning your hopes onto somebody or pinning your hopes onto something in the face of co of evidence to the contrary, right? Like believing that someone will become presidential. At the moment that he takes office, 